It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. This is a haul video. It's a little bit different. Kind of like a hunting video. A hunting video. There's going to be some hunting in here. So have no fret. We're not changing the format to just haul videos. But this kind of came uh, by as an afterthought, or at least in the middle. Right? Yeah. So we went to the Kentucky Bourbon Festival this past weekend at the time of this recording, where there was an opportunity to get a lot of bottles from the distillers who were there, as well as from the surrounding distilleries. And afterwards, mm -hmm. we looked at all of our bottles and thought, this <laughs> a pretty good haul. <laughs> yeah, it was about midway through. Uh, I'd already been to a couple distilleries and already stopped at a few booths. Booths. That's a weird word. Booths. 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 All right, well, that's enough of that. So then said, well, hey, we can still make a hunting video out of this slash a haul video. So we've got all the bottles here. We do have some footage of us actually finding them and picking up. We do have some information about it. So let's just get started, which would have been Thursday. Let's go back to the beginning. <laughs> yes, uh, come, come with us. Come on. Wayne's World. Thursday, when we went to Barrel Craft Spirits, their opening. Yeah, ribbon cutting for ribbon their cutting. Uh, for their go. new distillery and uh, also their 10 year anniversary. So they were celebrating with the 10th anniversary bottle, an press event to commemorate the opening of their new space. So we got to try some things there. We didn't come home with uh, any bottles for that one. Although they did have a nice little bottle shop in there. And uh, like speakeasy. Very cool bar. speakeasy. So that kind of kicked it off. And then from there, we went to a Kentucky Owl event at Kentucky Owl mm -hmm. in, in Bardstown. Bardstown. The Maester Edition, another bottle in their limited release series. Mm -hmm. This one is $130 retail. So it might look like a scotch. It's got the tartan on it. It had me confused for a minute, but it is a bourbon and it is blended and produced in a way to be reminiscent of a scotch. Well, it was blended uh, with cooperation with outgoing master blender uh, John and Rhea and incoming master blender Marlene Robinson, right? So she's been in the scotch world for like 45 mm -hmm. years over there in Scotland, blending scotches. Yeah. So she blended this in a way to bring out the more scotchy flavors, mm -hmm. but there is no scotch in here. This is all bourbon. I gotta say it was really interesting to hear her speak at the event, especially after our trip to Scotland earlier yeah, this year. Yeah. Like it all made a lot more sense than if we hadn't gone. Mm -hmm. And it was cool to hear her talk about, you know, the differences, but also, you know, the crossover between the two spirits. I actually retired last year in June. <laughs> so that's where John Ray and my co-creator, we have something in common. We retired and come back again. It comes in at 100 proof, by the way. This was our first pickup, and then that takes us to Friday, right? Mm -hmm. Now, Friday started off a little dangerously with some unsupervised Chad hunting time. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I stayed back at the hotel to get ready for the day as a responsible person does, and Chad went off to visit some distilleries. I did. Now, this is totally where I should have just taken out the phone and recorded what I was doing. But it's it, like you've never again, done this before. I know, hindsight, right? 2020 and all that jazz. Uh, so the first thing I did, I went to Jim Beam, James Babeam Distillery James. to see if I could find some Baker's 13. Now, I will give you guys some tips and a trick. No video for it to support it. Just imagine we're there. Oh, look, doesn't Jim Beam look different? Mm, look at it. There's bottles. Walked in the, <laughs> the first floor, super busy, lots of people in line, and I just kind of listen. People are asking a guy putting out uh, some bookers on the shelf, do you have any Baker's 13? And uh, this guy said, no, we don't have any. Mm. We'll have some at the Kentucky Bourbon Festival. Mm. And I was like, all right, I can get some there, but I don't want to have to haul the bottle or take it back to the car, put it in the locker, da, da, da. I really wanted to get it there so I could leave it at the hotel. So here's the tip. Trust employees, obviously, but they might not be informed of complete workings of mm -hmm. the gift shop, right? Mm -hmm. Communication is a thing. So I went upstairs where they did have four bottles of Baker's 13 sitting on the shelf. And here's that tip where it was a line around the registers downstairs. There was only one person in front of me at the register upstairs. Okay. So this is what I picked up. The Baker's 13, which is uh, 145. It Chad, is... you're doing some damage on this morning without me. <laughs> it is expensive. Yeah. But we haven't had this in uh, several years when the first Baker's 13 came out and we really <sighs> liked that. Okay, I'll allow it. All right, good. And then uh, remember I was saying that the guy was putting out some bookers. So it happened to be the 202303, mm. which is called Mighty Fine Batch. It is 126.6 proof, Ooh. seven years, one month, 10 days. Okay. Yeah. Well, I guess we do need that one for research so we can say what's the best bookers of the year. We do. And this was uh, 115 at Oof. the uh, distillery. I know, but it always comes to our area late. This might be a month or two He's before right. we see this. So we might be able to get it for like mm -hmm. 99 around here. Had to do it, right? Uh -huh. And next time you go to James B. Beam and there's a line, a huge line upstairs, you know who to thank for that, right? 
Oh, uh, right. This guy. No, I was going to yeah. say, no, Sarah, you didn't listen. I said the yeah, line was no, downstairs. No, I know. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. I know. Okay, okay, so where'd you go next? If you're going to make the trip out there, you have to stop at... Four Roses. The Cox Creek location. Yes, Four Roses uh, also had their own pick, uh, mm -hmm. single barrel at the Kentucky Bourbon Festival. But talk about lines, man. That, that was, line was long. That was a line, and that was during VIP. That was before even the general uh I think that was public. the longest line I saw all day. We didn't stand that because, you know, we got work to do. We got things to film, people to talk to. He's got more bottles to buy. Yeah, I don't know. So, that's right. So we didn't get that one. So I'm glad that I went to the distillery and got this, which is not the KBF pick, no. but it is. It is selected by Brent Elliott, Master Distiller, who was at the Kentucky Bourbon Festival. Yes, he was. Signing some bottles, you know, kissing babies, shaking hands, doing all whatever. I, I, I'm just kidding. There was no babies there. It's a OESQ. It's an 11 year and one month, and it was $99. Okay. So pick this up. Oh, Chad, I'm doing this math. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And, and this. <laughs> and then the the all 10 recipe box, which we've already talked about in an episode before, mm -hmm. but this one is going to go to our event where we're doing a silent auction. This November 10th. November 10th, a uh, silent auction item. Benefit for charity. So, okay, I'll allow this. Yeah, but this uh, this costs 129 So then it's time to go back to the hotel, collect you. I was ready. And then go to the Kentucky Bourbon Festival. Yes, and we were ready for a long day of sampling and working. So before we left, we decided to take our Z-Biotics. Boom. So with several days of the Bourbon Fest ahead of us, we could not risk not feeling our best in the morning. Mm. So we got our Z-Biotics here, which is a pre-alcohol probiotic drink. Here's how it works. When you drink, alcohol gets converted into a toxic byproduct in the gut. It's this byproduct, not dehydration, that makes you feel miserable the next day. Z-Biotics produces an enzyme to break this byproduct down. Z-Biotics pre-alcohol probiotic is the world's first genetically engineered probiotic. PhD scientists invented it to tackle rough mornings after drinking. Just remember to drink Z-Biotics before drinking alcohol. Drink responsibly and get a good night's sleep to feel your best tomorrow. Now, if you watch this channel regularly, you know that we don't do a lot of sponsorships and that's because mm -hmm. it has to be a product that we actually use and trust to endorse it. So when we found out about Z-Biotics uh, probably about a year, a year ago, ago we wanted to hear more of what you all thought. So mm -hmm. we noticed when we had like meetups and trips, a lot of our people were bringing this. We made sure to ask them about it or tell them about it. And then when we saw them next time, say, hey, did you try it? What did you think? And it was actually- Rave reviews. Yeah, all rave reviews. So we tried it ourselves several times, mm -hmm. you know, because we like to pretend we're scientists We sometimes like to test things to, out. I don't have things out. a lab coat, no. but- we felt like that it was doing what it advertised as well. So now we feel confident. To share and, it with you. Yeah, share it. And of course, you know, we have a promo code where you guys can get some savings. Go to zbiotics.com slash bourbon night or scan the QR code on screen right now to get 15% off your first order when you use bourbon night at checkout. You can also sign up for a subscription using our code so you can stay prepared no matter the time or occasion. Zbiotics is backed with a 100% money back guarantee. So if you're unsatisfied for any reason, they'll refund your money. No questions asked. Remember to head to zbiotics.com slash bourbonite and use code bourbonite for 15% off at checkout. And thanks to Zbiotics for sponsoring this episode. And we'll be right back after this. So there we are at the Kentucky Bourbon Festival, which mm -hmm. we have lots of footage of that. I don't know what we're seeing right now, but it's probably footage of the Kentucky Bourbon and Festival. And it probably looks great and like so oh, much yeah. fun. So, so good, so good. And one of the first booths, or actually- I would uh, call it a trailer. A trailer. A um, fancy trailer. That we saw up that was Castle and Key because they always have the most amazing cocktails. Oh, they and do cocktails on tap. They rotated daily. So we're always going there. If you didn't know, the new thing, or one of the new things about the Kentucky Bourbon Festival this year is places got to sell their bottles, and that is new for 2023. Mm -hmm. We heard it on good authority, actually from Chad Watson of uh, My Daily Bourbon, that batch four was amazing. So sight untasted, we bought a bottle, which is around $50. Mm -hmm. Could we have tasted it at the... Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. But we were like, oh, oh cocktails. We got excited. Yeah. So we're gonna taste it right now. Actually, that's that's what we have in our glass. But this is around uh, fifty dollars. This is batch four of the twenty twenty three version. One hundred and one proof. One hundred and one proof. Now so. I'm gonna tell you what. Tell me what while I drink. There's a lot of fancy bottles out there, and they a lot of them. Most of them cost more than fifty bucks. Like the way that this looks, kind of reminds me of like the old Fitz decanter release. It's just giving. It's giving fancy. Okay. He he recommended well. That's actually really tasty. I do like that. Yeah, I think this is a very fair product for a fair price from a distillery who, with a whole castle, 
could probably decide to charge whatever they wanted. Sure. And I just love to see something, you know, not be, the first release not be $150, you right. know? Right, very tasty. It's quite lovely. Yeah. I went to a wedding there this weekend. Castle and Key is gorgeous. Yeah. Even if you can't take a tour, stop there, go to their cocktail bar, explore the grounds. Mm -hmm. Do yourself a favor. Yeah. Kind of the rest of the day there was just sort of tasting and, and talking to people. We had to head back to get you to uh, that wedding. said wedding. So we weren't there very long Friday. And then Saturday, you were at the wedding at Castle and Key. So I was there again. An another unsupervised Chad moment. Unsupervised. Whose for idea was this? Entire day. So there's more bottles to talk about. So uh -huh. let's move on to Saturday. All right, so this will be the first time that I'm hearing about a lot of these. Let's see what kind of damage was done. Tell me about it. Okay, so uh, the first one was at uh, the Augusta booth. This is something that I've been wanting us to try mm, anyway. So there true. we go. This is the Old Root 8 single barrel. It is unfiltered and it is cast strength. Okay. Uh, it is $115. Okay. But Tucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey single barrel cast strength of eight year. And 2023 for that price isn't crazy. Oh, that's true. And and I did try this one, Sarah. Okay. I did try this one beforehand okay. and I really liked it. So I guess you don't have much more to add because you weren't there. I don't have anything to add because I haven't tasted it and I wasn't there to weigh in on this decision. So one line we didn't want to stand in Friday because it was so long and because Friday was our short day was the line at James B. Beam. But I did stand in line Saturday because I wanted to see if I could get one of the Hardens Creek Boston. Unfortunately, they sold out on Friday, but they did have some more of the Baker's 13. And I thought, well, I've stood in line, might as well pick up a second Baker's 13, and Fred and Freddie know we're there signing bottles. So what to do with our extra Baker's 13? I don't know. But you know who did stand in line on Friday? Chad Watson from My Daily Bourbon. And he did get a bottle of Hardens Creek, which you're seeing here now. And he's nice enough to share with us. So please go thank him by giving him a follow at My Daily Bourbon on Instagram. Up next is Old Louisville Whiskey Company. This is batch two, which was, uh, or is pretty new. I couldn't really find any information out there about it except yeah. the mash bill. I don't think I've had this before. We're gonna have it right now. Okay. We obviously can't do this for all of them. If you're wondering, why didn't you try the Augusta? <laughs> Boss cork pop though. Woo. This mash bill is 75 corn, 21 rye, and 4% malted barley. And I Excuse me for pouring myself first. Oh, uh, it's okay, I'll allow it. Um, <laughs> I believe I saw on the bottle that it's 96 proof. Tis. And I think you said 149.99. 149.99, yeah. Okay. Um, up there, sure. Uh, but I did, did enjoy it. Uh, information that I could get about batch one, this isn't batch one, but- This is batch two. <laughs> uh, batch one, the youngest in it was seven years old and there was 2,500 bottles. This was probably a Kentucky Bourbon Festival like debut. Oh. So, you know, as time rolls on, I'm sure information will become available about this one. It smells very butterscotchy. Does. Yeah, it's it's nice and, and sweet without being too sweet. Yeah, it's got the butterscotch oaky. Mm -hmm. It also has kind of like, what's the malted? Uh, only four. Yeah. Interesting. I really think it has like kind of a multi. It also gives a little bit of a scotchy vibe to it. A little it. bit. Yeah. Just a I can see that. Tiny hint. Yeah, that 21% rye isn't um, like super in your face yeah. about it or anything. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty still nice and easy. Enjoyable. Chad, if there was a tie for the longest line for the bottles, or maybe it was the second longest line, I think it would have been Heaven Hill. Yeah, <laughs> Heaven Hill. I would give Heaven Hill the award for the most consistently long line. Like at Four Roses, once they sold out of their single barrel, the line died down. Um, Heaven Hill, they I guess had- they brought more stuff? They did, they, have, they had more things and more of it. So their line was pretty consistently long all weekend. And I was not about to stand on that line in, <laughs> on my day. So it was like 30 minutes to close on Saturday is when- uh, Oh, you took your time, didn't yeah. you? Chad and I finally went into there and uh, some things uh, were sold out, but uh, they still had some great offerings. Mm -hmm. So- So what did you do? An Elijah Craig 18 year. Oh. Yeah. Well, here's the thing, Sarah. Uh, this was 199. Normally online, these are 270 to 420 dollars. So 199 for a single barrel 18 year. You couldn't afford not to buy it. You, just, you couldn't you afford, couldn't afford not, not to buy it. Buy. So this is the 90 proof. We like to see a little higher, but you know, with age, sometimes you can't go 
too high or he just slaps you with a barrel basically. It's not every day. Yeah, so this was this was a pickup and then Oh, there's more. Yeah, I also saw the toasted barrel which we're coming into gifting season, right? And I know mm -hmm. you have I do have some, some of your friends. They do like the toasted barrel a lot. This is around 60 to 65. But not easy to find around here. Not easy here. to find. We still have our bottle, so this one's going to be one that when we have a friend who is either looking for something for their dad or maybe a gift, a gift to for them. them. You know, 60 to 65 is worth it when they hmm. love the toasted barrel. Okay. But they also had the, uh, you know, the Heaven Hill seven year bottled and bond. They had some Elijah Craig barrel proof. Elijah Craig barrel proof, Larceny barrel proof. They had an Elijah uh, Craig barrel proof pick for the festival. Yeah, that was gone, you know. No Heaven Hill select stock, but mm. they did have like seven different bottles to choose yeah, from. Yeah, it was a lot. So we closed down the festival. <laughs> We're there we as in you and Chad and uh, not that, Chad, that's yeah. not you talking about yourself in the third person. We, the, the royal we. No, no uh, myself and Chad. Yeah, we closed down the bourbon festival. Uh, and then we're like, you know, there's still some liquor stores open. So, well, we, I haven't spent enough money. <laughs> we were walking to the car and we're like, oh, look, uh -huh. the blind pig, uh, which you w would have seen in our uh, bar hunting, sound hunting video. Yeah, bar sound uh, hunting video, blind pig. Nice so, little shop. Saw these, which is uh, two new releases from 2XO, Dixon Deadman, formerly of Kentucky Owl. So, see how we like went full circle there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go. One of them here is not that one, it's this one, which is the American Oak, which is now a regular release. So this is okay. going to be something. So more like a flagship. Exactly. Okay. This will be blended to match consistency going on. And it's a lower price, which I know a lot of people uh, love. This is around $50. Okay. Yeah. This is the first blend of what they're calling the Oak series. Mm. Now this is the third offering of what they're calling the Icon series. Okay. So this is the one that is $99.99 and it is called the Tribute Blend. So 104 proof, 92 proof. Saw those there, haven't seen those yet. Had to pick those up. They also have a tasting bar, usually a great selection. Mm -hmm. I, 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 they might have offered me something. I was like, okay, sure, I'll try that. Uh, but this is what we picked up there at the Blind Pig. Any questions? No, no questions. <laughs> okay. Sound like David S. Pumpkins, any yeah, questions? Any questions? Now, not pictured, I know that you said you stopped into the new Evergreen Liquors there in downtown Bardstown. Actually, we... it is pictured. Oh, okay. I did, at this point- I, At this point, you did. At this point, I was like, what am I doing? I gotta shoot stuff. What am I phone. doing? So yes, pictured here is um, Evergreen Liquors. Great selection, great new space there. Mm -hmm. They also have a tasting bar, much like the one in Louisville. Which you would know from our Louisville hunting yeah, video. Yeah, a little bit of footage of that one. Love that location. Yeah. At this point, I had little Sarah on my shoulder you better saying, not. you better not buy anything else. So I didn't buy anything there, <laughs> but a, a great place, great tasting bar. And visit it next time you're in Bartstown. Yeah. There we go. Mm -hmm. Has um, anyone been doing the math? I guess probably editor Chad, which which is me. Let's see. Uh, now it ring I am up. talking about myself in the third person. Let's. Let's. Should we step to the side and let, allow it to ring up here? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm gonna be sick. Okay. All right. It's not that bad. We've had. It's not that bad. Uh, you're right. Worse. We've had worse. Or okay. better. Or whatever better. you want to say. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh. So that's our uh, haul video slash hunting video. Um, you won't see me for a while. I've got to go do. <laughs> I got to go get three jobs. That's right. So that when we get back to hunting videos, it'll be in the in the regular the format. But that was hunting the Kentucky Bourbon Festival plus surrounding areas. Um, Before we sign off, yeah, you didn't compliment me on my new sweatshirt. Well. it's... Do you like my new sweatshirt? I do. It is a little big. I like them oversized. Yeah. It's just how I like it. Now available yeah. on whiskeyambitions.com. It's very cozy. And anytime we do hunting videos, I, I like to wear the Bourbon Bunker mm -hmm. t-shirt. Be kind, share, share your, your finds. finds. That's also available at whiskeyambitions.com. Also, you just miss Blockbuster. I do miss Blockbuster, yeah. yeah he cries um, about it at night sometimes. I, I do, I do. But hey, that's where we'll leave it. If you haven't subscribed to us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here. Hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Until next time. Hunt more bourbon.